The survivor's blood, O positive. O positive is the single most common blood type in the world, carried by roughly four out of every 10 people. What makes it remarkable is its reach. A unit of O positive blood can be transfused into any patient who is RH positive, whether they are A, B, AB, or O themselves. This gives it enormous medical importance, since in emergencies, doctors can use it to stabilize the majority of patients. But here's where it gets interesting. Type O is thought to be the oldest blood type, common among early hunter-gatherers who roamed the earth thousands of years before agriculture existed. With no A or B antigens on their red blood cells, type O individuals developed a strong immune reaction to foreign blood types, which helped them fight off invaders in a dangerous, pathogen-filled world. The real evolutionary jackpot, the absence of A and B antigens, reduces the ability of Plasmodium falciparum, the parasite responsible for the deadliest form of malaria, to cause red blood cells to clump together, lowering the risk of severe malaria in O carriers. This resistance gave O types a crucial survival advantage in regions where malaria was widespread. Their immune profile and digestive adaptation also favored high protein diets and exposure to wild pathogens long before agriculture reshaped human health. But evolution always demands a trade off. The exposed H antigen on O blood cells can be a point of entry for certain pathogens, which is why O individuals are more vulnerable to severe cases of cholera and norovirus. They can also be more susceptible to ulcers and certain viral infections. O blood types usually have lower baseline levels of clotting factors, such as von Willebrand factor, which protects against life-threatening clots but can increase the risk of bleeding in some situations. O negative. Now, O negative takes this ancient survivor profile and amplifies it. Despite being carried by less than 7% of the global population, O negative is one of the most critical blood types in medicine. Its defining feature is the complete absence of AB and RHD antigens on the surface of red blood cells. Because of this, O negative can be transfused into anyone regardless of their blood type, making it the universal donor for red cell transfusions. In emergency rooms and disaster situations where there is no time for blood typing, O negative is the first choice, often saving lives when compatibility testing isn't possible. From an evolutionary standpoint, the scarcity of O negative highlights how unusual it is for individuals to lack all three major antigens. Like O positive, O negative carries the traits of the oldest blood type, with strong immune reactions and resistance to malaria. But it also comes with vulnerabilities. O types in general are more prone to severe cholera and norovirus infections due to the exposed H antigen. And without the RHD factor, O negative mothers must be closely monitored in pregnancy to prevent hemolytic disease of the newborn. Still, its unmatched medical utility makes O negative carriers disproportionately important to global blood supply, granting them an evolutionary legacy as silent protectors in every health system. The Settler's Blood, A positive. A positive is the second most common blood type worldwide, found in about three out of every 10 people. And here's where human history takes a major turn. Type A likely evolved when humans shifted to agriculture and lived in denser communities. Suddenly, people weren't roaming anymore. They were settling down, planting crops, domesticating animals, and living in close quarters. With A antigens on their red blood cells and a more tolerant immune profile, type A individuals developed a stronger immune response against certain bacterial infections, particularly those that spread in dense agricultural communities where hygiene challenges were greater and people were constantly exposed to animal-borne diseases. This adaptation was crucial when early farming villages became breeding grounds for new pathogens. Some evidence suggests type A individuals had greater resistance to smallpox, which devastated populations for centuries. But evolution always extracts a price. The same antigen that provides these defenses has also been associated with higher risks of clotting disorders and certain cardiovascular conditions, as well as greater susceptibility to malaria and certain cancers. Type A represents the perfect example of evolution's balancing act. Gain protection from one threat, become vulnerable to another. A negative. A negative is one of the rarer blood types, present in less than 2% of the global population. It carries the same settler traits as A positive, the A antigen, and more tolerant immune profile that evolved with agriculture and dense communities. 
these individuals benefited from stronger immune defenses against bacterial infections, a possible advantage in ancient farming societies where crowded living increased disease exposure. But here's the catch. The absence of the RHD factor adds a serious complication in pregnancy. If an AA-negative mother carries an RH-positive child, her immune system can produce antibodies that endanger the baby's red blood cells. Modern medicine controls this risk with preventive treatment, but in earlier eras, it likely influenced survival and reproduction. The combination of rarity, immune strength, and reproductive challenges makes A-negative a blood type with both hidden protections and delicate vulnerabilities. Its scarcity makes every donation especially valuable, as it may be the only safe option for patients with this type. The nomad's blood. Positive. B-positive blood is carried by about 1 in 10 people, and it tells a completely different survival story, believed to have arisen among Eurasian nomads who traveled vast distances across changing landscapes, B antigens on red blood cells gave these populations unique advantages. It's particularly concentrated in parts of Asia and the Middle East, suggesting that ancient population movements and selective pressures allowed it to spread unevenly across the globe. Here's where it gets fascinating. Research links the B antigen with altered susceptibility to certain infections, offering protection against some E. coli strains while creating vulnerabilities to others. Type B has also been associated with greater adaptability to changing environments or diets high in dairy. Lactose tolerance may correlate with B type in some populations, which makes perfect sense for herding communities that relied heavily on milk and dairy products. Studies of metabolism show evidence pointing toward differences in how B types process carbohydrates and fats, reflecting how these nomadic populations adapted to constantly shifting food sources. However, B types might have higher risks of certain autoimmune disorders, where the immune system's adaptability becomes a double-edged sword. These subtle distinctions reveal how blood types are more than transfusion categories. They are evolutionary fingerprints reflecting how humans adapted to different environments over thousands of years. B negative. B negative is one of the rarest blood types found in only about 1% of the global population. It shares the nomadic heritage of B positive, arising among Eurasian nomads with resistance to some E. coli strains and adaptability to changing environments and dairy-rich diets. But the absence of the RHD factor further narrows its distribution, contributing to its extreme rarity today. Type B likely spread unevenly across ancient populations, with higher concentrations in parts of Asia and lower representation in Europe and the Americas. Some studies suggest that B carriers may show altered responses to certain bacterial and viral infections compared to other groups, reflecting subtle evolutionary trade-offs in immunity. Because B-negative individuals can only safely receive blood from B-negative or O-negative donors, their transfusion options are very limited. In hospitals, this scarcity means that B-negative donations are carefully managed and considered high priority. B-negative individuals stand out not only for their scarcity, but also for carrying one of the most selectively distributed antigen profiles in human history. The newcomer's blood. A. B. Positive. AB positive is the rarest of the major positive blood types, carried by less than 5% of the global population. And here's what makes it extraordinary. It's the newest blood type, likely only emerging in the last 1,000 to 2,000 years as A and B populations mixed. Think about that. While O types were fighting malaria tens of thousands of years ago, AB didn't even exist yet. With both A and B antigens present on their red blood cells, AB individuals represent a genetic blending that happened relatively recently in human history. AB individuals have a balanced immune system, less reactive to some infections, possibly making them more resilient to new diseases their ancestors hadn't encountered before. This adaptability may have been valuable as populations migrated and mixed, exposing people to novel pathogens. Because of this full antigen set, AB-positive individuals can receive red cells from any donor, AB, AB, or O, whether positive or negative. This makes them the universal recipient in transfusion medicine. They're also the universal plasma donor, but the same antigens that provide broad transfusion compatibility are linked with trade-offs. Type AB individuals show higher susceptibility to certain clotting and vascular conditions compared to O types. Still, carrying AB positive means belonging to one of the smallest global blood groups while possessing the widest transfusion safety net. 
an unusual evolutionary combination of scarcity and advantage. A B negative. AB negative is the rarest of the eight main blood types, carried by less than half a percent of the global population. With both A and B antigens present but no RHD factor, it represents the rarest combination of all major antigenic traits. AB negative shares the newcomer status of AB positive, the youngest blood type, thought to have arisen only a few thousand years ago from the mixing of A and B populations. AB negative individuals carry that same balanced immune system, less reactive to some infections, and possibly more resilient to new diseases. In transfusion medicine, AB negative plasma is particularly valuable because it can be given to patients of any blood type, making it a universal plasma donor. However, AB negative red cells are highly restricted in availability, and patients with this type can only receive blood from AB negative, A negative, B negative, or O negative donors. The additional absence of RHD makes AB negative even more exceptional, turning it into a genetic outlier across human populations. This rarity highlights both the diversity and fragility of blood type inheritance. A B negative carriers represent a small fraction of humanity, yet hold uniquely important plasma for transfusion medicine. In terms of ancestry, possessing AB negative is like carrying the rarest blend of all the major antigenic traits, a biological fingerprint that stands at the extreme edge of human variation. Human variation.